Hello everyone, welcome to Fashion for You. Today in this video, I'm going to show you two piece anarchy. In this anarchy, there is a bodice part and there are kalis. For kalis, I have got this net brasso. This is black color fabric. This is see through fabric, so I'm going to attach a black color lining which is of satin fabric. Also, I've got lace. I'm gonna attach this lace on neck and on the border. Okay, so let's get started. First, I'll cut bodice part. I'll take princess cut pattern and I'll cut my bodice according to that. This is my back panel of the bodice. And this is side piece of the front panel. In the same way, I'll cut middle piece of the front panel. After cutting, I got all these three pieces together. These all pieces are of my bodice. Same way, I'll cut lining for the bodice. Lining is of cotton fabric. Now I'm gonna cut curly pattern on a piece of paper. I'll take 5 inches from here and make a mark. And similarly same here. Now I'll fold it. Now I'll separate it. I'll double it and I'll make the curly pattern on this. First I'll mark length for the curly. The length of the curly is equal to desired length of the anarchy minus the length of bodice which is 14 inches and the length of border which I'm gonna keep 3 inches for me I'll cut it from here here I'll take 0.7 inches because I'm going to make 24 panel anarchy and 32 divided by 24 comes out to be 1.33 again divided by 2 so it comes out to be 0.66 Take straight down to 10 inches and mark same measurement here. Now I'll join it with straight line and till the hemline. Now I'll cut my curly pattern. This is my curly pattern. I'll transfer this to the fabric now. Now I'm gonna cut kalis for my anarchy. This is brasso fabric. I have kept three layers of fabric. I'll keep my curly pattern over this. I'll secure it with the help of pins. And keeping half an inch seam allowance, I'll cut it. I forgot to record cutting of lining. Lining I'll cut in A shape. Now I'm gonna cut sleeves. I'll measure here length of my sleeve. I'll take another piece of fabric and I'll join it here. And I'll cut my sleeves. To start stitching, First, I'll make the bodice part. For that, I'll take center piece of the front panel and make a neckline on that. I'll take lining and fabric, I'll double it and make a boat neck on that. For boat neck, I'll keep here 4.5 inches and I'll make a mark. Here, I'll take 3 inches, I'll give a curve. Now, I'll transfer this to other side also. Now I'm going to make a stitch line on this. I'll cut it from here.
turn it to right side and this is my neckline. Now I'll take my blouse side pieces and I'll join. For lining I'll join separately. After joining it is looking like this now. From front side I have joined it like this and lining I have joined separately. Now I will take my back panel of the bodice and similarly I will make neckline on this first. I will double it and make neckline as I have made for the front panel. Now I'm going to make a stitch line on this. I'll cut it from here. I'll stitch darts for the back side also. Now back panel is looking like this. I'll take my front panel and I'm going to use this silver color lace on my front panel. This lace I'm going to use on the neckline. For that, I'll cut required length of lace and I'll make a stitch line on one side. I'll pull the string to make wrinkles on one side so that it can easily get curved and then I'll stitch it. While attaching lace on the fabric, put newspaper beneath. It will be easy for you to attach the lace. This way you can easily attach laces on the curved seams. Now I am going to join shoulders for the front panel and back panel. I'll join shoulders like this, lining with the lining and fabric with the fabric. Now these are my colors. I'm going to join all colors together. 12 colors for the front panel and 12 colors for the back panel. I have joined 12 colors for the front panel and 12 colors for the back panel. So these are two panels. I'll take one of the panel and I'll join it to the bodice. Match center point of curly and bodice. I'll keep bodice first facing right side upside. On top of that I'll keep my colors. Then I'll keep lining and I'll stitch them all together. In the same way, I will join back panel. Now it is looking like this. This is from back side. And this is front side. Now I am going to attach this lace here. I have attached this lace here now. 
Now I'll take my sleeves. First I'll make my sleeves ready. Then I'll join my sleeves to the anakali. First I'll attach this lace here on the starting of sleeve. Fold this fabric like this and then I'll attach lace. I have marked center for sleeve. I'll match this with center of armhole and I'll stitch. Because I'm using net sleeves, so I can join the sleeves like this. Because these sleeves are stretchable, so it will be okay if I stitch them like this. Similarly, I'll attach other sleeve. Now I have attached both sleeves to my anakali. Now I am going to stitch anakali through the sides. Start stitching from sleeve and I will go on stitching. From bodice I will separate out my lining and kalis. I have sewn an arkali from sides now. The only thing I am left with is to attach border. Now I will attach border here. For border I have cut bias binding of around 10 inches. I have joined two bias binding to make a long strip to use at the border. I will double it with the help of iron. Now I'll take my anakali and I'll take this border and I'm gonna attach this border like this. Now fold the border to the inner side and I'll use temporary hem using needle and thread. I'm sorry camera was not set properly so I could not record the video. After this, I made a stitch line permanently using my sewing machine. You can see border is looking nice. I have attached lace on my border. You can see anakali is now ready and it is looking so pretty. I hope you like my video. If you have any doubt or query, you can write to me. All details are given in description box. If you like this video please give me thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you don't miss any future videos. We'll meet soon with a new tutorial. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.